The Karnataka High Court has noted that the central government should consider imposing an age limit on the use of social media in the country. In its oral observation, the court has said that people should be at least 21 years of age in order to be using social media. Now, the two-judge bench was hearing ex-cops, formerly known as Twitter, appeal against the rejection of its challenging the center's order for certain social media accounts to be blocked. It was towards the end of the hearing that the bench also said that there should be an age limit on social media usage. The court also mentioned that the best option would be to completely ban social media, as a lot of good will come out of it. It mentioned, today school-going children are so addicted to it, that is social media, I think there should be an age limit such as in excise rules. Now, whether something like this will or will not happen is only uh, something which we get to know in the future, but why would such a strong statement be made in the first place? And should a step like this be actually taken? Now, it all really depends on who you are asking this question to. Ask it to someone in college or high school who we lovingly refer to as Gen Z in uh, today's terminology. And they would staunchly be against it and give you an absolutely shocked expression like what is going on. The same question when posed to someone in the 70s or older would probably make a point saying that the entire online and satellite era has made kids too protected, too mollycoddled and are increasingly spending more and more time at home due to the screens, whether it is the laptop screen, the mobile screen or the TV screen. On the other hand, if you ask the millennials, we would probably say that yes, there could be an age limit, but 21 would definitely not be it. So everyone is coming speaking from their own experience. But let's look at the facts. Various studies have shown that mental health of teenagers is affected due to the use of social media and that apps like Instagram particularly could have higher levels of body dissatisfaction and lower self-esteem. Not that other platforms are any better, Twitter or X as uh, we refer to it nowadays seems to have become like a snake pit with any action or reaction having multiple overreactions on the platform. But is it really all that bad? I mean the very fact that we are able to get through to you via this video is because of social media, whether you are watching it on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook or Instagram. They have also made communication easier with relatives and friends who are far away from each other, knowing what the other is up to, whether is everything is alright at the end, or if a major life event has taken place, like uh, maybe a marriage. Of course, we mostly do, it is true that we mostly share only our successes on social media, and as a lot of us would have noticed on Instagram, all our lives are very happening, and on LinkedIn, everyone is uh, so successful. But now I put the ball in your court. If you are watching this video and have views on whether social media should be completely banned or certain age limits should be set and more importantly why, do comment in the section below and let's see what everyone seems to be thinking about this.